Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Cinelera CV. I'm going to teach you how to put overlays onto your videos. That's something I know that you there are presets for in, in other programs. Uh, there is no preset in Cinelera, but it's reasonably easy to create. So the first thing you want to do is put your video on one track, then add a second track for the overlay. So just disarm track one, arm track two. You want to drag a just um, a basic image onto your timeline. Uh, as you can see, this one is not large enough, so I am going to just zoom in quick and dirty to, to make sure it covers the entire thing. Um, this is the picture I'm going to be using for my overlay. So go to Video Effects and choose Chroma Key and drop that on there. Bring up the Chroma Key options. First thing is make sure that you have Use Value checked. This means that instead of using um, the amount of the colour, it will use the brightness and darkness factors and it will behave more like a luma key. So, um, there you go, you can start to see I'm, I'm starting to make the uh, darker sections transparent. Uh, if I choose colour, because I've got it on use value, the colour does make a difference, uh, but, but mostly in the sort of light dark, light dark region. Again, if I sort of stick around the same kind of lightness, it, it doesn't it doesn't make as much of a difference as it might in other circumstances. Um, see, suddenly if I choose to just go with blue, of course there's no blue here, but if I'm using the light and dark, I'm getting good transparent sections. So once you've found a mask that you, you think looks good, uh, just drag this way down, and as you can see, it begins to behave like an overlay. Now this doesn't actually look very good, and that's because I've chosen to remove the dark sections, but most of this is light. Um, and you generally don't want so much for your overlay. So the reason I've chosen to do that is to show you a, a neat trick if you end up with the opposite of what you want from your mask, if you've, if you've chosen to use something that's more difficult to mask. Drop an invert video effect, make sure everything is checked, including the alpha, um, and suddenly, as you can see, it's it's the other way around, and um, it's it's much more like an overlay effect. Um, other things that you can do at this point, once you've got that basic effect and the basic fade level that you're happy with, um, well, include, um, you can mess around with the way you invert it because that will mess with the colours. You can also drop an actual colour effect onto there, like a colour balance effect. And that's that's the basic way that you, you make an overlay. But I do want to speak a little bit about that inverting of the vi inversion of the video, because in this case I'm able to do it very easily because it's a black and white picture to start with. So when I invert it, it flips from black and white to black and white, more or less, and it doesn't look too strange. If you do it with colours, it will often look odd, so I'm going to show you how to counteract that now with a different overlay. So if I drop this on instead, as you can see I've got this, this planet, um, so for example, um, what you want to do is you want to drop an invert video on it to start with, then you want to drop the chroma key on, then you want to drop another invert video onto the bottom. And now when you mess with the chroma key, you will actually be able to do, uh, if, you, if you choose the yellow here, like we did before, you can mess around with it and you'll get much more of what, you, what you're looking for there. So basically you flip it, then you add the chroma key, then you flip it again. Um, I'm sorry that wasn't quite as clear as it could have been, but hopefully that at least explains the principles of overlays to you. Um, effectively you want to mess around with a chroma key and the levels of the fade as the basic effect and then you can do things like inverting the video or adding uh, various color effects or anything else that you want in order to affect that basic mask that you've got for the overlay. And that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.